If you ever climb out of the water with pain in weird places and blood in your mask, you might think you're about to become a case study for decompression sickness. But sometimes the real problem is a lot simpler and possibly even embarrassing. In this video, I'm going to cover a real dive incident report that was filed with Divers Alert Network, or DAN. And as a quick disclaimer, I am not a doctor and this video isn't specific medical advice. If you think you might have decompression sickness or any medical issue after a dive, call a real medical professional or call Dan. Don't just rely on YouTube. And as always, the link to the original Dan incident report is going to be down in the description. So if you want to check out the full details for yourself, feel free to check that out down there. With that, let's get into it. I'm Thomas Hughes, a professional scuba instructor. And on this channel, you'll see videos on scuba education, scuba equipment, experiences, and environmental awareness. So let's set the scene. You're on the dive boat enjoying your surface interval when you overhear a diver asking, hey, uh, what are the signs and symptoms of DCS? Well, that's never a fun question. Naturally, everyone's gonna perk up a bit because nothing grabs attention on a dive boat like the possibility of somebody needing a chamber ride. Well, this particular diver was dealing with a strange dull pain and tightness right under both armpits and across her stomach as well. To make things weirder, her left breast looked very swollen and someone on the boat actually asked if she had implants. Scuba, you know, it brings people together and then immediately gets weird, right? But wait, there's more, of course. This diver reported also having blood in her mask after the morning dives and had been spitting out blood as well. So now you've got pain, swelling, and blood. Sounds like a recipe for do not pass go, go straight to the recompression chamber, that kind of day, right? Well, the thing about DCS is that the symptoms can be all over the map. Things like joint pain, rashes, dizziness, even just feeling a bit off after a dive. But guess what? Stress, gear fit, dehydration, and about 900 other things can all make you feel weird after a dive too. If you just Google your symptoms, you're gonna find out in about five minutes that, okay, I have a serious scuba injury. I have this one, this one, this one, and this one. Every scuba injury known to man, and maybe some that haven't even been invented or named yet. Now, this is where having a knowledgeable dive professional on board actually matters when you're out diving. Instead of just whipping out a WebMD for divers, they did a proper neurological assessment right there on the boat. Now, this isn't some fancy hospital thing. Basically, they checked to see if she was dizzy, confused, losing feeling, having any trouble walking, showing signs that her brain or nerves were just in trouble, basically, right? And spoiler alert, in this case, everything checked out. The diver in question wasn't having any dizziness, no tingling of any kind, the vision was fine, balance and grip strength was good, mental function was normal, she could follow commands, she was able to track her finger or track a finger with her eyes. Uh, all the basic stuff that means at the very least that your brain is likely not melting down or shutting down on you or anything like that. This is why the neuro check is just so clutch. It doesn't take very long and if everything's good it's a strong indicator that you're not dealing with a major issue. But if it wasn't DCS, what was it instead? Well, before I get into the real culprit, if you're enjoying this kind of video, let me know down in the comments below. This is a new style for me, so I'd love to hear your feedback. And also as a side note, if you're not a Dan member yet, I highly recommend joining. Dan is the largest nonprofit dedicated to improving diving safety for all divers. They offer a 24 seven medical emergency line, as well as a bunch of other benefits like dive accident insurance, travel insurance, and more. If you're interested in joining, click the link down in the description. I will say this video isn't sponsored by Dan by any means, but that is a referral link, so I will get a small kickback commission if you do decide to sign up. However, as a Dan member myself and someone who has used Dan, Dan Insurance on a couple trips that I've had some bad experiences on, I highly, highly recommend them. Now, with that said, let's talk about what really happened to this diver. So you're probably still asking, if it wasn't DCS or decompression sickness, what was it? Well, it turns out the real villain here was actually her BCD, and specifically the straps that she had cinched tight than a seatbelt on a roller coaster, locked in there good. The pain that the diver said she had in her armpits and across her stomach actually lined up exactly where her gear was pressing down on her. Now, I know you're probably saying something like, but what about the blood in the mass that you talked about? Well, this is actually a classic case of just dry compressed air that messes up your membranes and mucuses up in your nose and in your airways. And if you breathe enough dry air over time, at some point, those membranes might crack a little bit, which causes a little bit of blood and if you've dove enough, you've probably had this happen at some point, and it's not always just a big indicator of an emergency, it's more so just a matter of, you got a lot of dry air drying everything out, 
and dryness cracks and sometimes that causes blood. It's not fun at all, but it's also not necessarily a medical emergency in most cases when it's something like this. So once the diver actually loosened her straps and fixed the fit of her BCD, pretty much all the pain vanished. The next day she said she didn't really have any soreness, just some leftover soreness from the previous day, but there was no mysterious illness, no helicopter ride, no decompression chamber or anything like that. Luckily, in this case, it was just a simple gear adjustment. So what did we actually learn here today? First is to never blow off weird pain, blood, or anything that just feels wrong after a dive. This story specifically had a simple ending that was very non-emergency, but it easily could have gone the other way instead. Decompression is real, and sometimes the symptoms aren't obvious or are easy to mistake for something else instead. And that's why the diver's buddies didn't just shrug it off. They asked questions, they did a proper neuro check, they took it seriously. If you ever feel off after diving, whether it's pain, numbness, tingling, dizziness, confusion, or anything that makes you go, uh, this isn't normal. Get checked out by a medical professional or call Dan right away. Don't try to just tough it out, don't rely on the internet, and don't just assume, eh, it's probably nothing. Time matters with decompression sickness and getting help early can make all the difference. So next, it's important to call out that field neuro assessments are not a replacement for medical care. They're a tool to help you figure out like if you need help right now, but if in doubt, always err on the side of caution. Now, I think another one to take away from here is gear issues, dehydration, and dry air can all cause problems that look scary, but that doesn't mean that you should just skip an investigation. Ruling out serious stuff comes first, but then start looking at those secondary things like, you know, maybe you have gear that doesn't fit properly. And along those lines, don't over tighten your gear. Save yourself from some pain and possibly even some panic by making sure your BCD fits right in the first place. Remember, it's always best to check and find nothing wrong than to ignore it and wish that you hadn't. But not all dive pains are this easy to fix. Ear pain while diving is a real, real issue. And if you wanna learn more about avoiding ear trauma and what can happen if you don't equalize properly, check out this video next. With that, stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving. Thank you.